Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at one of my all-time favorites, Mutt and Junkyard. Hey, welcome back. Today we've got Mutt and Junkyard from the G.I. Joe Classified line, Hasbro. Very, very good. One of my all-time favorites. But here he is. We've got him back. And this is exciting times for me, I'm telling you. Taking a look at the package, you got the big window back. That's great. That's On this side, you got the QR code number 113 in the series at the top. You can let a little light in right here. 113 G.I. Joe Star. Look at that. Look at that artwork right there. That looks good. Look at Junkyard. He is just slobbering all over. And Mutt, he looks pretty cool too. You got your warnings and labels and continues on the bottom. Barcode. Let's get this guy out of here. I've had him for about three weeks now, maybe a month. I've been sitting on this for a while. I don't know why. I should have did a review on the day I got him, but yeah, here we are now doing it. Let's see if this whole thing will slide out. Oh yeah, nothing, absolutely nothing on the back of this box. Forgot to show you the back. Look at that. That's a heck of a scene back here. He's in the jungle. Trying to see if we can catch any Easter eggs in here. And I'm not seeing... Oh, I do see alligator. I wonder if that's Fiona. Fiona right there. Could be. All right, set that to the side. And here he is in his case. Oh, we got some more labels and warnings and copyrights. Set that to the side. So there we go. Now, how are we going to get this out of here? Oh, it's just, just going to pull out. And there we go. I kind of would like a picture of Mutt and Junkyard right there, but better than nothing. And here we go. Is things taped in? Oh, good. We're getting back to where they kind of just slip them in behind the plastic. And our figures is, I don't even think Mutt is tied in and neither is Junkyard. This is great. Wow. Let's get our accessories out. We'll go through those first. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. I believe that's what he came with when he was, uh, is that what it was? When we was kids. Yeah. It's got the little green on it. Looks good. So there's one gun. We got the nightstick. In case things get out of hand. And he don't want to use deadly force. He can whoop somebody's butt with it. They seem like they're going to be hard to get out. Uh oh. There it is. Yeah, you got to kind of bend it up a little bit. But. They're pretty pliable. They'll go back. But you definitely don't want them to break. This I don't think this will break the way it's so pliable. Um, man, all kinds of stuff. We're going to have some goggles, glasses. That looks like it's going to be big enough to go around the helmet. This one looks like it's going to be small enough to go around his head without the helmet. And we have this. I don't really know why Mutt wore this, but he even had that when we was kids, I believe, didn't he? Goes over his mouth. Not sure what that's for. Protect his mouth, maybe, so the dog don't bite him. You know those Rottweilers, they can be nasty. There's a hand cannon. That's got green on it too. So 
Good paint apps on these weapons so far. Uh, let's get his helmet out. So everything's coming out easier than I thought it would. Helmet. Let's get these so we, I guess we can keep them in the video. Oh man, look at the hands. He's going to be given all kinds of directions. The junkyard. So Mutt, Mutt has to have all these hand signals. I'm going to get all these out of here first. Let's see, is it all, yeah, that's going to be all your left hands. And then this is going to be all your right hands. And what's cool about this, this is the first time I've seen this, I believe. They're not mirrored images. So that's really, really cool. I think every other, all lines, whether it's wrestling or G.I. Joe or They've all had mirrored hands giving us all kinds of fits. Yeah, I think we got her. There we go. Yeah, so how awesome is that? Every hand, every single hand is a little different. Do have a trigger finger. Yeah, not one hand is the same. So really cool. Junkyard's head out if we can. Oh, mercy. I think I got it. Holy cow. So there's an extra hand for junkyard. Extra hand. I call it extra hand. Extra head. You can hear my dog barking. Maybe he smells. You think he smells junkyard? All right, let's see if we can get junkyard out of here now. Oh, there. Look at that. Woo. That looks good. Really good. I mentioned how the old one, our three and three quarter inch, when we was kids, was stuck in one pose. Not this one. He has got, he can move everything. Only thing is, his neck's not movable. I think our timber, when we open snake eyes, I think its head could move. Oh, wait a minute. It can move. I'm sorry. I was lying. Yeah, he does. Lower neck moves down there. It's just hidden under this vest he's got protective vest so check him out looks so good dog can look up dog can look down he's got shoulder movement he's got first joint movement he's got second joint moving down by the paw and even the paw moves wow crazy we've got a twist at the abdomen it can go side to side, wiggle that tail. Well, what little nub tail you have. Legs can sprawl out. The front legs, do they, yeah, they're coming out slightly. Wouldn't want to force anything. Back legs come out pretty good, go together. Wow, look at that. You're gonna get all kinds of movement out of this dog. This is great. This is probably the best. I would. I thought timber. Timber was the best. Now I'm thinking. Junkyard right here has taken over the first spot. They did a hell of a job on this. Now let's go over. Mutt. So like I mentioned before, our left hand. What I'll do is I'll hold up a left hand and a right hand, and none of these match up, which is awesome for us. So you got kind of a halt hand, sit, or you can come, and then you got the pointy hand. So that's a left and a right hand there. Our second set, they're both kind of gripping, but a little bit different. This one's fingers and thumb, pointy finger and thumb are touching. I don't know if you can make that out. And this one is open, like you can hold a junkyard. And then we have left and right. We got a trigger finger, I believe. Nice. And then a fist. So that is outstanding. Now let's get the main man out of here. Mutt. No ties tying this guy down. 
none whatsoever pops out there we go look everything's got a spot that's going to repackage really nicely you know i like to repackage here he is this is awesome man it looks just like the one we had as a kid he's got a little stubble on the jaws he's got scarring on the face from where he got bit look at that holy cow he does got a hole in the back if he had a backpack he doesn't have one but if he had one you could stick it in there he's got look at this vest he's got on he's got this big guard right here um hairy arms i don't know if i like that hairy arm look right there if you can see that kind of definitely looks fake but man this is good he's got looks like he's got some mace right here in case runs into another dog he can mace it and he's got a holster over here for his gun this looks good really good he's got a some sort of badge on right here talk about articulation on mutt he can look up he can look down side to side head all the way around okay go hey back a little bit left and right a little bit shoulders he does have the big butterflies look at that um shoulders do go all the way around He's got a bicep cut all the way around, double jointed, pinless elbows, wrists uh, up and down slightly, or I guess back and forth. Uh -oh. Broke off one of his hands. Of course, those are removable. Come with all those extra hands. So not a lot of movement on the hands. It does go up and down slightly, a little better than it does that way. Although I think they do have a joint in there. So they do have slight back and forth on here. I think some of them are up and down and some are side to side. This one happens to be a side to side. And that makes sense because I think that is a trigger finger. So give you that side to side motion. All right. Waist all the way around. Does he have, I think he has an ab crunch. Hard to see. That vest is not sculpted on. So it's got a place for his knife right there. Um, so I think there is, like I mentioned, an ab crunch in there. Um, let's see. Look at them. Let's check splits. Straddles. Unbelievable. He has those drop down hips. It allows him to, a lot of our, wrestling figures don't they can't bring this leg back but look at that he can get his back um upper thigh cut all the way around double jointed pinless knees nice upper boot cut ankles can break his ankle here in the woods and question is can he pirouette can he pirouette do, 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 do. yes mutt can pirouette knew that he could we knew he would do that so looking awesome i love his boots love his pants everything about this is just nostalgia they're getting gi joe classified series is getting better and better at nostalgia I think they tried to make them a, you know, their own thing. wasn't Didn't want to copy off of the, you know the old ways. Hasbro didn't. They you know they made those and they was trying to. But man, you got to go with nostalgia. Nostalgia has got to be your number one thing. And there he is. Let's see if we can get his weapons in. Of course, we got the knife. We knew the sheath was right there for the knife. We have our hand cannon. Of course, it's going to go right there. It's kind of loose in there, but at least it's in there. I don't, I'm not seeing anything else. Guess we could probably, if we wanted to, we could slide this billy club behind his belt like that. Got that on there. And of course, you got your machine gun. 
Let's see if they've done any work on these trigger fingers. These have been a pain in the butt. Oh, that went in pretty good. So I think they did a little bit better on that. That trigger finger went on a lot easier than it has been. Some people don't like these drop down hips and this is why, I'm trying to get him stood up. But I, I'm having no problem. Face mask on first. That gone. That looks good. <laughs> looks really good. Goggles on without the helmet. There he is. Not bad. But what we'll do is we'll take these off, turn them around. He's got a nice haircut, man. That is a nice haircut. Take his helmet. We'll put these goggles on the helmet. Because this is how he was when he was a kid, wasn't he? He had his goggles up on his helmet, right? And his helmet, correct me if I'm wrong, his helmet was removable also when he was kids, I think, on that three and three quarter inch. Pretty sure. There, we got that on there. Let's see if we can get it on. Yeah, look. That looks good. Man. This is outstanding. Of course, we can change his hands if we want. But everything is really tight on him. His hips are a little loose. Nothing like the Super 7 Ultimate G.I. Joe hips. Knees are a little tight here. Man, I love it. I absolutely love this. Is he, the, is he my favorite one? Is he my favorite G.I. Joe so far? I think with this dog, he is. Yeah, with Junkyard, I think he takes the cake. Look at that. Outstanding. We got the growling mouth on that, and then we got the happy, <laughs> happy mouth on this one. See how hard that's to... Oop, pops off real, oh, and a collar comes off. You can go without a collar. We're going to keep that collar on, though. How easy is that to pop on? Pretty easy. There he is. Now he's happy. <laughs> happy to see him. Give me a treat, he says. Be good. Good boy. So it looks good. I like it. I think this might be my favorite G.I. Joe so far classified series well probably overall those super sevens are pretty uh, don't like them too much the nostalgia and i'll probably continue but they're gonna have to come down on price awesome i guess until next time oh yeah